Good afternoon, and thank you for being here today. My name is Hannah Cohen, and this is my demonstration. It all started with a football game. I made an on and decision to make a tube top out of an old t-shirt, and it was a hit with all of my friends. They all were asking me to make tube tops for them, and I made a crazy decision. I created a small business selling two tops that I made from old t-shirts. I made over $200 in revenue in just a few short months without spending a single dollar. So today I'm gonna to be demonstrating how you can transform an old t-shirt into a cute and trendy tube top. As Huffington Post stated, this is a great way to bring new life to old clothing and to also reduce waste. Once you have mastered this skill, you'll be able to create retail ready tube tops for any occasion in under 15 minutes and at no cost. As Sewing for Everyone described, what you make will be uniquely yours, and you'll be able to find satisfaction in knowing that you'll be wearing something that no one else has. So today, first I'll show you how to choose the right t-shirt to cut. Then I'll show you how to prepare the t-shirt for cutting and gather your materials. And finally, I will show you how to cut and tie the shirt into a tube top. So first we wanna choose the right shirt. So you, in this case, the bigger the better, so that way you have more wiggle room when you're fitting the tube top to your body. I usually suggest trying to find a size large t-shirt. So we have a pretty big one here that we're gonna use. Now as for material, you wanna find just a typical cotton t-shirt, that usually works. But you wanna remember that the thicker the material, the sturdier the tube top will be. And if the material is too th thin, there's a possibility that when you wear it, it, be, it could be see-through. So the way that you wanna test it is to place your hand on the, mat the material, and if you see your hand through the fabric, then you know that that is too thin. Now as for color and design, you wanna find a color that you'll be satisfied with wearing as a tube top. And also you wanna to try to find a shirt that has no writing or design below the armpits. Now we need to prepare the t-shirt. So let's gather our materials. We need scissors, a ruler, and a pencil. The first step to prepare the t-shirt for cutting is to lay it out on a flat surface, and you want to spread it out so that there are no creases. Then you want to take your pencil and your ruler and draw a straight line underneath the armpits. And if there's writing that goes a little below the armpits, just make your line underneath it where the writing is. Okay, so see now we have our line. And now that our shirt is ready, we can cut. And also just to note, the length from the line that we just drew to the bottom of the shirt will roughly be the length of the tube top, so make sure that that works for you. So now you wanna take your scissors and you're gonna cut across the line that you just made. And then you wanna take your scissors again and cut along these seams on the side, here, and here. So you should be left with two panels. Again, with your scissors, you wanna cut horizontal lines on each side of the panels. That your lines will go through both panels. And you want them to be one inch deep and about one inch apart. So you see, I did it here. And now we can start knotting to make it into a, a tube top. So you wanna knot down one side of the tube top first. So I'm gonna be doing that. I recently read a really great article from Creativity Workshop about how important it is to be creative. They talked about how as we get older, like we, start, we stop engaging in creative behavior less and less. This is really important because creativity is an essential part of everyday life. So they just talk about how it's really important every single day just to take time out of your day and be a little creative just like how we are being today and making a tube top. You want to make these knots tight and double knotted. And the more knots that you do, the more uniform that it will look on the side. All right, so now we have our knots. And you want to take the side of knots and place it underneath one of your armpits and wrap around the other side, like this. And then just to, to finish, you just tie around this side. Okay, so once you do that, you have a finished tube top, and what you can do, if it's too long, you can just cut a little bit off the bottom. It doesn't affect the tube top in any way. If it's too tight, just loosen the knots a little bit, and if it's too, too loose, cut the, the lines deeper and tie it even tighter. 
let's review. So today we learned how to choose the right t-shirt, how to prepare and gather materials, and how to properly tie and cut the t-shirt into a tube top. That one tube top I made had such a profound impact on my life. I now know that if there's any situation where I need a top, I can take it into my own hands and make it. It also helped me realize my passion for innovation and helped me to raise money for a cause that's really close to my heart, Dance Marathon. Well, now it's your turn. Get cutting. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them now. Um, how, if, what do you recommend for the cutting? If there are words on the shirt, what should you do? So, if there are words above the armpits, it's not a problem at all. If it starts to go a little bit below the armpits, as long as you have at least this much, so I'd say like about a foot of material, then you can make a proper tube top. But it's always better, like the higher the writing, the better in every situation. So you want to try to find shirts that are, have writing above the armpits. And also a great tip is if that is the case and there's writing all over it, if you turn the shirt inside out, it creates the same effect of a tube top, but you don't see the design. Any other questions? Is there any other styles of tube tops that you know how to make? So you can do what I showed you with the, with the ties down the side, or you can do a tie in the front, which makes a really cool effect, especially if it's just a plain color shirt. Or you can do a tie in the back, which is, looks really uniform, and that's where you get your most professional look because that's what most of the retail tube tops look like, where they just have the clean. Anything else? Thank you so much.